Welcome back to another video I have for you guys here today. I am sick, but I am also sick at rebuilding, so it's okay. It's very fitting. Today, I will be showing you guys how to rebuild like a professional Madden YouTuber superstar like myself, okay? It's an easily replicated process. I'm going to give you 15 clear-cut steps, and I will show you an example for each step. This is a very serious video. No memes involved. Absolutely not a parody. Very, very serious. Treat this video as a rebuilding for dummies book, but instead of a stupid book, you have this beautiful man talking to you. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've, I've recently started going to the gym. Let's begin. The first step in making a good rebuild is you have to plug all of your social media. Even if you're not making a video, just start yelling your Twitter and your YouTube in the middle of your room. It's okay. It'll work, all right? It'll, it'll definitely work. Now, don't fact check this, but... Ever since I started plugging my Twitter, I don't think I've lost a game in a rebuild. I'm just saying. I, I mean, it, it definitely works. I'll give you a quick example of what I mean. So down below in the description of this video, there's my Twitter. On my Twitter, you can find my YouTube. On my YouTube, you can go click on any video and find my Discord. In that Discord, you can ask me what my YouTube is. I'll let you know and you can subscribe. Very easy. Not convoluted at all. That's, you just gotta make it simple so the viewers can click on the links easily. The second step is pick the Browns. Alright, the Browns are the best team in this game. So why not pick them? The next step is to copy the coach name another YouTuber used for that same team. It just gives you the best luck that way, I promise. Now that you are actually in the franchise, you can begin trading. And the first step with trading is that you can never have enough offensive linemen. Once you've done that, the next thing to do is to go ahead and trade for as many first round draft picks as possible. Once you have done that, your team should be in the yellow or the orange. That's where you're shooting for, all right? And then with those draft picks in hand, you can go ahead and force losses for all the teams you just traded with, making the draft picks as good as possible. I know, big brain plays out here. Obviously, that's what I do in all of my rebuilds. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but super obvious. I always get the first four draft picks in every single draft. There's never been, uh, you know, another, another outcome. At this point, you are ready to start simulating. So just go ahead, sim directly to the end of the season. No reason to stop for anything. And let's see what the record is. Oh, man. Uh, we, we didn't make the playoffs. That's alright though, because it leads me directly into step 7. Blame Madden Sim for the bad season. Obviously, this was not my fault. I have compiled a god squad. This team should have went undefeated. Instead, it went defeated. Fully defeated all season. Okay, well, you know, at least we got a good draft pick. This is a super important step. Make sure you always edit the draft class. Because otherwise, you're not going to be picking the best players. You're going to make sure you know exactly where all of the best players are. So you can always pick them. You can even change a couple players overalls if you'd like, but you have to make sure to not make it too obvious that you changed them. Wow, this this guy looks pretty good. Now I'm, go I'm gonna throw him on my draft board. Let's try to take him. We are now brought to the free agency period, which also brings us to step number nine. Sign every possible free agent you can, especially Kareem Hunt, Chris Jones, Kendall Fuller, and Yannick Ngakwe. You know, the guys that nobody goes after. I hardly ever see people go after these guys, so make sure you sign them all. Also, if you've done everything else correctly up until now, you should have roughly $2 billion in cap room, so signing these players should not be too hard. You know, I think we have a pretty comfortable lead over all the other teams and all the guys I went after, so we should be able to get them all. And just like that, we got every free agent we went after. It's, it's really not hard. It is now time to start the NFL draft and also time for step 10. Trade down as often as possible. I mean, you're building for the future after all. You gotta remember to save at least one first round draft pick to take the player you edited. But remember, very important, do not make it obvious you edited the player. You need to, you need to make sure you have no idea how good this guy is gonna be. Wow, this, this quarterback looks pretty good. Hey, he's 10 combine grade. I mean, that's pretty awesome. A pluses across the board. I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna be... A 73 overall. Let's see what he's all about, though. Oh, wow, he's, he's a 99. He only has normal development, though. That seems like a pretty bad pick. Wow. I'm surprised they're giving me a good pick on that one. I would have... That definitely seems like a reach to me. I mean, he, he was supposed to go undrafted. And we took him in the first round, and he only has normal development. Yeah, this guy's probably going to be a backup. After that, what you have to do is make sure you start every single rookie you can, as long as they don't have normal development. If they have normal development... They're going to be a backup. They're, it's not the future of the team. You need people with at least star. Step number 12 is to make sure you do all of these steps while being as realistic as possible. Even if you say at the start of the video that it's a fantasy style rebuild and that anything goes and that you have a realistic rebuild playlist for a reason. And even though you usually make it a point to mention twice that it's a fantasy style rebuild, 
you still want to make sure it's as realistic as possible. Now step number 13 has nothing to do with Madden. You just need to make sure you put any popular person on the thumbnail, it doesn't even matter who it is, and make sure the title is very clickbaity. The second to last tip is that you can never have too many ads, because the more ads, the more money YouTube makes off of your video, meaning it'll be promoted more. So obviously, as many ads as possible is ideal. And step 15 is to make that sweet YouTube money you can profit. And that is a 15 step guide to making amazing rebuilds like myself. I hope you guys learned something from this one. Let me know if you have any questions so that I can direct you to my Twitter so then you can find my YouTube channel again. Click on another video, go to my Discord. In my Discord, ask me for my YouTube channel. Come back to this video and ask the question. Like I said, back to the early steps. Make sure your plugs are as simple as possible. <laughs>